Here is everything you need to know about all four of the new Gorilla Tag Halloween ghosts. Watch till the end so you don't miss out on any secret tips and tricks. Let's start with Lucy. Lucy is the original ghost from last year's Halloween update. She can spawn in two different colors, blue and red. And yes, there is a big difference between the two, other than the color. The red one is more aggressive, she goes way faster than the blue one. But how do you spawn them? Let's start with the blue one, which people like to call Lucy. It actually spawns randomly every now and then. It doesn't matter if you're in a public or a private lobby. She will still spawn no matter what. When she spawns, you'll hear this laugh. Uh -oh. And from that moment, she's going to start chasing one of the players in the lobby. You can run as fast as you want, but once Lucy has a target, she doesn't give up. She goes through walls, and eventually will speed up if you keep running away from her. When she catches you, she's gonna lift you up into the sky for a few seconds and then despawn. Next up we have the red Lucy. Like I said earlier, this one is more aggressive. The only way to spawn the red version is by going to one of her graves and tapping around with your friends. Usually, you will see there's 4 objects that you can tap near her graves. I believe you need like 4 or 5 people for it to work. Eventually, you will hear this sound. Something at me. Which means the red Lucy has been summoned. Then you'll see her flying from under her grave and just like Lucy she will chase a random player. Except the major difference is that the red Lucy is much much faster and once she catches you she will lift you up into the sky for a few seconds and despawn. Then we have the purple ghost which is actually one of the two newest ghosts this year. This ghost can be quite annoying. You can't see it with your own eyes until it's too late. However, if you look through the crystal balls, you can actually see it flying around. When you hear evil laughter, that's when you know the ghost is nearby and it will attack you and turn your screen black and white. It will then fly around you saying monkey, monkey, monkey. <laughs> It also makes your voice sound much deeper to others. Uh -oh. You can't escape it, you just have to wait for it to disappear on its own. Also, is it just me or do I hear it say what the hell? I will admit that I've gotten jump scared several times by this ghost. Anyways, what should we name this ghost? I think this person wants to name it Jermaine, but I'm not sure. Last but not least, we have the flower ghost. This one is probably the friendliest one of them all, since it won't attack you. And just like the purple ghost, you can't see this one with your own eyes either. You need to look through the crystal balls. However, you can hear it. The louder it is, the closer you are. The flower ghost has a path it follows and it actually drops four different kinds of flowers. The red one, yellow one, green and purple. You can pick the flowers up and hold them or you can throw them into the cauldron to brew a potion. However, you need to follow a specific order. If you brew a successful potion, you will get a temporary low gravity effect and you will see and hear witches flying in the sky. Check out my other video that shows you how to brew all the potions by clicking on your screen right now.